Hey everybody, it's Nick with Technicology, back with another video. And today I just received my two Galaxy Note 7s that I've been waiting for on pre-order. And these are from AT&T, so they come in the basic, more plain AT&T packaging, unfortunately, not the nicer Samsung packaging. But I uh, just got them, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick unboxing for you guys, and then I'll get them all powered up and going and test them out, and then next week I'll actually do a full review on them. But uh, I am doing this with my kids playing in the background, so if you hear some noise, I do apologize. <laughs> just wanted to get this up for you guys to actually see the unboxing of it. So with the at t packaging, they actually had my information plastered all over it, so I had to go ahead and just peel it off and cut it open already. So we'll just go ahead and dive on into it this way. So this is the black onyx. Get that out here. And wow, is that really nice. Has a little more weight to it. I've been using the S7 Edge since that came out. This one does definitely have a little bit more weight to it, but it feels really good. It's This is one of the phablets where I actually feel like I can use it one-handed. And I don't have like really big hands or anything, and the S7 Edge has been no problem using it. So this looks like it should be about the same. And set it over here. Let's see what we got inside the box. Comes with your quick start information. Health and safety book. And we've got, this time around, we've got the USB type C, which I'm actually very excited about. A lot of my peripherals are USB type C, so this will actually be very nice. And it's Really cool. They actually, this one, I've been using this a lot with my S7 Edge. It's the adapter that you can put in, so you can put in a full USB. And I've been using it just for transferring my videos over that way onto the computer. It actually works really well. And you got your basic Samsung headphones. Decent enough headphones. And they did include, which is really good, an adapter. Now this is for USB type C to micro USB. So that way if you still have some your micro USB or you're traveling and someone else has a micro USB, you can actually still attach that and use it. And this your basic wall charger there. You get your S Pen tips and S Pen tip removal. And your SIM ejector. So all your basic standard stuff in there. But it is nice that they did go ahead and include this adapter since they're switching over to USB Type-C. The phone itself looks really nice. Very anxious to power this up. Okay, so we'll take a look at the silver. and set this one. I always put little things in the video like you probably noticed my Breaking Bad characters or Gollum. But these paintings are actually from Death Note and my daughter... My oldest daughter painted these, so uh, they were pretty cool. If you've never seen Death Note, actually a very cool anime. Never thought I'd like anime, but Death Note won me over. Okay, now here is the silver. Yeah, that is really nice. I had a someone commenting that I should use the silver as my personal the black as my business phone, and I think I'm gonna take their advice. But that's the two of them side by side. Let me go ahead and get everything peeled off and powered on, and then we'll resume back on the video. Okay, we're back, and I got all my information entered into the phones, and just wanted to give you a look at them side by side here. Let me know in the comments below which one you guys like the best. I'm really torn on between them. They both look very, very nice to me. And they are, with the glass, they are definitely fingerprint magnets. Um, I personally don't really worry about that too much. I know I do, I hear that a lot on reviews. They're talking about that, how much the fingerprints show up. But most people, you put either a case on it, so you're not really too worried about it. I always put clear coat on the front and the back, and then you never see fingerprints at all or you're having it in a case. So as far as the fingerprints themselves, I'm not too worried about that, but uh, they definitely do show a lot of fingerprints. 
Um, the glass itself, I was watching, there's a channel, um, it's Jerry Rig, and a great channel. I actually learned almost completely of how to repair cell phones just from watching his videos. Really, really good videos. And he does a lot of bend tests, burn tests, scratch tests. And the tests were showing that the Gorilla Glass 5, it's very impact resistance. But as far as scratch resistance, it was actually less than the past Galaxy phones, the S7, S7 Edge. It was scratching a lot easier. So I do highly recommend getting some kind of screen protection on the front. Um, like I said, I always do clear coat on mine. I'll put a link below to Amazon for that. But you're definitely going to want some kind of, of screen protection for the front of it there. But this is just kind of a quick overview. Like I said, this is just an unboxing. We'll do a full review next week after I've been using it for a little while. But you got your USB-C right there. 3.5 millimeter jack. Got your S Pen. Can't put it in backwards, so that's good. Power button, volume rock, rockers up and down. And you got your SIM card tray and micro SD card up to 256 gigabytes. Which that I've heard that it's actually capable of holding up to two terabytes. They just don't have a two terabyte card yet, but that would be amazing if they do, because <laughs> then that's as much as like a really high end computer, so which that would be very cool. But there they are, side by side, black onyx, silver titanium. I'm going to go ahead and real quick just throw on a couple of the cases on her. And this is the one I reviewed, the Scotty. This is that one that I said is just based out of California. I'd never used this one before, this brand. I'm going to take a quick look at what this one looks like on the silver. But that's actually a pretty nice looking case it's it's a little different it doesn't feel quite as high end but as a just a nice cool casual case to throw on it actually looks really good and it feels good so there's that case on the silver this is the caseology the parallax so let's throw this one on the black And that looks really nice. Yeah, that's definitely up there with one of my favorite cases there. That's a very nice case. Okay, let's throw a couple more on here. Then we've got the Spigen, the Neo Hybrid. All the information popping up there. Yeah, that looks really nice too. I get the feeling I'm going to be swapping in and out quite a few different cases. Because I like too many of them. Okay, and let's do one more. I've got the... I was curious to try this one. This is the Rinke, the Silver Mirror. I'll try this one on the silver. And that looks pretty sharp. Yeah, that goes with the silver really, really nicely. You can see the back of the phone through it, but yet still has the mirror effect. Very nice case. And I'll go ahead and do some more videos next week, probably of uh, throwing some different cases on the actual phones. And again, thank everyone so much for supporting my channel. I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Give me comments. Let me know things more you'd like to see or not see. Just let me know. Appreciate it very much. Thanks again. Until next time.